Yo, what's going on, guys? Andy Chonk here, back with another video reacting to the Knicks Timberwolves game. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below for another 500 subs. Leave a like as well. Towns inside at one. Uh, I've seen a lot of people be a little upset with the Timberwolves lately for their poor play, especially Gobert. He's not had a few, a good rough couple games, but he's trying to bounce back. Uh, the Timberwolves are, because I know he's not playing. From what I'm seeing, obviously. Randall and the Knicks, they've been playing good. I can't say too bad. They had a big win against the Sixers last week. Can't, huge comeback. Definitely something, you know, be proud of. Uh, I don't think they had Harden, but still, definitely a good win for them. Gobert is in a safety protocols. So, Towns going back to the five, and obviously he can do that phenomenally because this is Carl Anthony Towns. Nothing new here. D'Angelo, three pointer. It's money. He was one of my favorite players, so if I saw, saw some bias, I'm sorry. Good pass. Nilo, that's money. Ice in the veins. Already, no. If I sound a little patchy, I'm sorry. I am sick, not feeling so hot, but making these reactions because this is probably the only positive of today. My car broke down today, and it's toast, so there goes that. Here we go, Randall three-pointer. That's buckets. Tarin Prince taking it in. Good pass. That's money. Love to see it. Here we go, Julius Randall. Good pass. RJ Barrett. Money. Derek Rose. Uh, yeah, good pass. Randall taking a lot of stupid jumpers in his pass, but this season they're actually going in. I feel like he, he's really worked on his jump shot and his game. Obi Toppin. Do I need to speak more about this man? How good has been playing? It's probably sixth man of the year, honestly. I already know something I gotta say. This is a New York shirt, but this is a wrestling shirt. I got no problem with Knicks, but this isn't a Knicks shirt. It's just Knicks colors because it was at MSG. Wanted to uh, make sure that was a uh, clear. Nothing wrong with the Knicks. I don't like them because of what Phil Jackson did with them in the past. Oh, we top it from three. Again, insane. That's why I picked the Nets over the Knicks, but now it needs to look at my choices because with as mediocre as the Knicks have been in recent years, a lot better dealing with that with that probably than the Nets. Nets suck. I'm a fan. That's rough to say, but it's the truth. Brunson, great signing for him. You know, one of those guys. You know, they got yeah, Kevin Durant, Zion, Kyrie. He got Jalen Brunson, honestly. Good signing. Showing the potential to be a young, really good guard, potentially an all star in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, Angela Russell, three pointer. Yeah, Knicks are on fire today. I don't believe the Timberwolves are known for their defense this season. I think they're towards the bottom. I believe. Um, we make up Barrett, you know, you do have a really good defense team. Obviously, he's not there now, so there's a big hole um, in the defense. So, RJ, and one. he's had a really good past three games. Things out to the point two. All good shooting numbers with a big wins in there. So, <clears throat> he's hot now because Julius Randle. I'm very happy about that. You know, I was always one of those people who I believed in Randall. He went to New Orleans, showed what he had. And he came to New York. People were like, oh, he sucks. Why the hell do you give him this money? I thought it was a good chance. I thought, you know, you might regret it, but why not give the guy a chance with D-Lo with a three? And you know what? It paid off, I thought. They made the playoffs. Last year wasn't the hottest, but I think this year is really showing what you're getting. I think last year was just a really hiccup in the road with them. Injuries, things just didn't click. You got a little bit of adjustment to the team. RJ from three. Brunson there. <clears throat> D-Rose is healthy, in shape. And, like, not, not that he wasn't in shape, but, like, he's, like, looking really good. And, um, once come to playoff time, he can have a huge impact off the bench. Just, just like Obi Toppin has this season. Because... As bad of a coach as Thibodeau has been in recent years, he is playing as cards right with uh, Thompson. I, I would like to see him get a little more minutes, but he has good looks, good shots all the time. Cam Reyes needs to get more minutes, too. He's playing really good this season. Um, you definitely don't want to uh, 
bench him over some of these other players with all due respect because he can really give you impact on both sides of the court. D Rose inside, Ali Oop. Ali Oop. Uh, I like D Rose. No, no issues with him at all. Tony and Prince. Good pass. Austin Rivers. Three pointer. He was one of those guys who's like somewhat a journey guy, but not that he's bad. He's just hasn't found a permanent home. But that's, you know, he's a good player. I can't say he used to be a joke, but I could say he's a valuable bench point guard and could even start if needed to and fill his role pretty good. Tim Rose making a little comeback here. Next, you, you, if you lose this game, I'm just saying that's not a good look. Y'all was up like 23 points right now. Andy Edwards, he's been a little quiet as of late. Would like to see him, if you're a Wilson, obviously be a little louder. Get some more shots, a little more aggression and efficiency. Quickly, good pass, Randall. He's uh, taking off the dribble. Oh, Nas Reed got lost in the sauce. Ain't happening today. You can hear my New York accent. You know, it's terrible. I'm playing it, whatever. Love being a New Yorker. Three pointer. Bang! Big shot by Brunson, man. And just like that, Nixon back up by 20. Uh, Wolves, I would like to see you try a little more here. I know it's no Gobert tonight, and you got White, you know. You still got some key players um, not on the team anymore from the, and that were sent to the Jazz from that trade, but still. Don't be shocked if a Timberwolves trade happens this season, a uh, minor trade. It might be a decent trade to try, you know, upgrade that depth a little bit and the bench, but I wouldn't be shocked if Dealer got traded. I don't think he should because I think he's a good fit with them. Just need to give the right, him the right opportunities and the right shots because it's a rules game plan. Honestly, it's lackluster a lot. They just get bailed out by talent most of the time when it works. And Brunson, yeah, he's good, man. You definitely got to give that kid respect. Earn his money. In Dallas, and I can understand people saying, "Why didn't you resign with Dallas?" I think that you know, he got his money in New York. I think his dad's an assistant coach. He wanted to be the star of a team, and I think, genuinely speaking, for the Knicks of all teams, it could work with him being possibly your best player. And um, he doesn't need to be like the most crazy guy ever because you have good talent. RJ Barrett right next to him, Julius Randle, so. Uh, Knicks clearly win. Julius Randle led the team with 20 with 31 points, 8 rebounds on really good shooting, 8 threes. Obi Toppo with 50 off the bench. Brunson 23, Barrett 22. All of them shot pretty good, man. Pretty damn good, can't lie. Uh, for the Timberwolves, Towns at 25, 13. Edward at 16, Russell 14. And that's really all I need to say. Timberwolves need to really get it together. Need to fix that depth. Something's up. They have a lot of guys who just can't make a lot of shots, so. They're going to need to find some people to really help fit in those um, cracks in their offense and defense. So we'll see what happens with them. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, like I said, hit that sub button down below. Really appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, and I'm out.